Cederisa and welcome back to another episode of Thursdays with Cheeky Rocks here on My Beauty Funny. If you guys notice something is different about me, it is because my hair is dyed blonde. I've never gone this light, but I'm really liking it so far. I mean, it's kind of hard to tell in a bun, but you will see soon. Today's episode is super exciting for me because I'm going to be talking about a brand that I've been wanting to try for ages. That brand is Makeup Geek. I've been wanting to try their eyeshadows for forever because I've heard so many great things about them, especially from a lot of YouTubers. So I was super excited to try out their pigments because pigments are just a glitter lover's dream. <laughs> Makeup Geek is cruelty free and they also are very conscious about the ingredients that they put into to their products and their products are such high quality from what I've heard so I was so excited to try them out for the first time. Today we'll be looking at the pigments from Makeup Geek and if you don't know much about pigments or maybe you just don't have that much experience with them, they're basically a form of eyeshadow that usually comes in a loose powder and they are super sparkly and glittery and can just add that extra oomph to any eyeshadow look. I have four shades of the pigments from Makeup Geek to show you guys. The first is called New New Year's Eve. It's this really pretty light gold glittery shade and the second is called Prince Charming which is a nice silver. It's almost close to slate blue and it's just very versatile. And then I have Enchanted which is a gorgeous rosy pink color. And finally I have Kryptonite which is a olive green that's really going to suit brown eyes especially. So let's go ahead and hop into this tutorial to create this eye look that I'm wearing right now and then afterwards I'm going to give you guys a mini review about what I think of the Makeup Geek pigments. First things first, I'm taking New Year's Eve on a flat, small concealer brush and pressing the pigment into my eyelid. I've already primed my eyes, so it's ready to go for this beautiful gold shade. Next, I'm taking Enchanted and creating a V shape on the outer corner of my top eyelid. And to smoke this look out a bit, I'm placing Prince Charming right over the spot where we just put Enchanted and using a blending brush to blend those shades together. Then I'm going to take the shade Kryptonite and place that under the bottom lash line to smoke it out. And this shade is gorgeous for brown eyes especially. It's really going to bring out that brown and make it pop. Now I'm just going to finish up the rest of my eye makeup by adding some mascara and liner. Using a setting spray, I'm going to wet the concealer brush and then go back in with New Year's Eve and just apply that to the very center of the eyelid to give it a little bit of extra sparkle and pop. I was super impressed that I was able to create a full makeup look using just pigments because usually you use them to enhance a look. So you would create an eyeshadow look from pressed shadows you know, like normal, and then add in one and maybe two pigments max to just add some more sparkle. But the fact that I was able to create a full eye look using just pigments that I'm really happy with says a lot to me about the quality of the pigments themselves. I really just love how creamy and blendable they are. I mean, these shades, I normally wouldn't thing to put them together but the fact that they blend so well together and actually look very good together it's just amazing to me another thing I wanted to mention about these pigments are they are so pigmented pun not intended but seriously guys I've never seen pigments that are this pigmented and that stay on my eyes so long as these makeup geek shadows I love that you can use these wet or dry I think that's a huge plus because it's really customizable for you no matter what you want. If you want it to be a more subtle look you could obviously use them dry but if you do want that extra oomph you can use something wet and then just add a little bit 
more enhancement to your eyes. I also wanted to mention that along with being cruelty free, these pigments are actually talc free. So if you do have an allergy to talc, then these are the pigments for you. <laughs> Overall, I think the Makeup Geek pigments are such good quality. They're so blendable and creamy and the color options are just gorgeous. I definitely want to try out some more Makeup Geek products, especially their eyeshadows that I've heard so many great things about, so I'm definitely hoping to do that soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and review of the Makeup Geek pigments, and definitely try them out. I highly recommend using these because they're just such great quality, you really can't beat them. Tune back in next Thursday for another episode of Thursdays with the Cheeky Rocks here on My Beauty Bunny for some more cruelty-free reviews and tutorials and tips and tricks and all that jazz. I will see you guys next week.